3D ground scan can be performed in parallel or zigzag scan mode. Experienced users who want to scan even faster may use the zigzag mode. Select 3D ground scan and adjust the parameters. Impulses, impulse mode, scan mode and transfer mode. First, set the number of impulses. We recommend auto. Select the impulse mode automatic. Each measure value is recorded continuously without any breaks. The scan mode defines the direction on the scan field. For faster scans, choose zigzag. Finally, define the type of data transfer. Choose memory and select a slot to store the measured data in the internal memory of the rover C4. After selecting the four parameters, go to the starting point of your first scan line and press start as soon as you start walking. Scan the first line to its end and press the start stop button to set the field length and number of impulses. Remain at the end of the line and turn 180 degrees around your own axis. Rotate the probe so that the arrow is pointing in the same direction as in the first line. Take one step to the right and start the next line. Press start as soon as you start walking and scan the complete line. This time don't press stop. Now, turn around and rotate the detector. Take a step to the left and scan the next line. Make sure, the arrow on the probe is always pointing in the same direction as in your first line. Repeat this until you completed your scan field. Alternatively, you can walk forwards and backwards without rotating around your own axis. In this case, you don't need to rotate the probe. But keep in mind that walking backwards might affect the measurement results. It is more difficult to keep straight lines and the walking speed may be slower than when walking forwards. If you are undecided, we recommend you to use the scan mode parallel. Transfer your scan files to the notebook for further analysis in Visualizer 3D Studio. In rough terrain, it may be useful to choose the impulse mode, manual. Select 3D ground scan and adjust the parameters. Impulses, impulse mode, scan mode and transfer mode. First, set the number of impulses. We recommend auto. In manual mode each measure value will be recorded manually by pressing the start stop button. The scan mode defines the direction on the scan field. Finally, define the type of data transfer. Choose memory and select a slot to store the measured data in the internal memory of the rover C4. Go to the starting point of your first scan line and press the start button to record an impulse. Press the button after each step, if possible at equal intervals. Press OK as soon as you reach the end of the first scan line to define the field length. Return to the starting point without further scanning. Take one step to the left and scan the next line, step by step. In this way, you can walk on different surfaces and step over obstacles at your own pace. For best scan results, hold the probe 10 cm above the ground and keep the same distance to the surface. You can check the distance by placing the probe on your shoe. To continue your scan, move the probe back to your side, do not measure above your shoe. Transfer your scan files to the notebook for further analysis in Visualizer 3D Studio.